people, welcome. Sorry if my amusement isn't as high. It's early. It's not that early. Thought we learned last time we made scones. We weren't gonna get Eric out of bed to bake. It's also Strong. 10, it's 10 30. It's early. But, super simple recipe today. We're gonna make regular scones, starting with 540 grams of all purpose flour. Shoot, that's a lot. We need one tia huyad of sugar. Well, let's go like that. Not a lot of sugar, so basically this is super healthy. And then a tia huyad of salt. Four tia huyad tables teaspoons of baking powder. See, I'm not as funny in the morning. I haven't even had coffee yet. Then we're gonna put 100 grams of butter in there. This is 113, so close enough. I am mixing up the dry ingredients with the butter where you don't get butter lumps because I've been told that's not happening. She said that in the dang camera. Now that this is, I don't know, what is this? Rain? Incorporate. Incorporate. You can't really see the butter. You're going to incorporate your milk. We're using four deciliters. We're using whole milk because that's what we use with everything else. So that's what works best. This is supposed to make a total of three cakes and then you cut each cake into fours, which totals 12 cakes or like 12 little scones and you get to eat. But said it, the dough is supposed to be sticky before you put it out on the table, which it was. Just now. It's a log. Now, we'll do the three cake thingies. I feel like the beauty with scones is that it doesn't have to be perfect. There, right? And our oven is already preheated to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it says use oh. a fork. Stab a little. I don't think that they actually use the word stab, but I need to put an X in each cake. Okay, I put in the oven for about 15 minutes. Let's go. Whoosh. So I think the lesson we learned is maybe flatten them down a little more before throwing them in well, the oven. I thought, yeah. They look good to me though. Right? Wow. And then we're gonna put some butter on there. See, it's flaky. Put some pestos. I don't know what that's called in English. We got this at Ikea though. It's in the refrigerated section. Amazing. Do you know that Ikea has a food section? The amount of people I've had to introduce the Ikea food section to is absurd. So then mm. some orange marmalade on there. We got a breakfast, or this is a scone for you, Hoyt. I think it looks pretty good. Does it? Got that cheese on there. Mm. How is it? I don't even know what bake this is. 17, I think. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Only 320 something to go. Mm. How is it? Is it good? Mm-hmm. I'm honestly not usually a big marmalade fan. Oh really? Mm -mm. I didn't know that when I asked but you to buy that in the store. With the cheese, I feel like that's a pretty good combination mm -hmm. personally. That's all I'm saying. So I am pretty satisfied with that. And we put the other ones back in the oven for a little bit longer so the middle could cook, but I don't know. I mean, it's like only a few minutes left. I was gonna say, I'm not sure how necessary it was. <laughs> I would have eaten them like this, but. I know, but Paul Hollywood would have yelled at my bread baking. Yeah. Okay, we're out.